group. It is Coach Rose here for another edition of our Tuesday Talks. And I'm super excited about tonight because this is the stuff that's going to help you get closer to your goals. And tonight we're going to talk about self-love. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Coach Rose Peterson. I'm a certified personal trainer, both in person and online, and a certified nutrition coach. I help moms locally in Las Vegas, Nevada, and all over the world shed the weight, holding them back from becoming their most energetic and authentic version of themselves so they can go after their deepest desires alongside of motherhood. You can find me at fitandconfidentmoms.com. So I want to talk about this mindset shift of getting to your goal by developing the habit of self-love. Now, this is a practice just like anything else because as moms, we have gotten really used to putting ourselves last on the to-do list. And this is something that I know we don't want our own children to do when they're adults. So we have to practice it and be an example for our kids. Truly developing self-love is what's going to help you get you to your goals quicker and faster than having negativity or using self-hate, self-loathing, trying to starve our way thin, trying to use exercise as punishment for what we ate, beating ourselves up by shoulda, woulda, couldas. Those negative thoughts will not lead to success and happiness. If you saw my post earlier in the group today, I celebrated three of my clients and dearest friends on how I have seen an evolution in them and I have seen them go after their goals in the spirit of self-love. And they decided that they can go after their goals. They can achieve the fit body that they dream of. It's going to happen because they love themselves enough to accomplish it. You have to come from a place of loving your body now where it's at right now and not where you think it's going to be because that's what's going to help you create this long lifestyle of being happy and get out of a vicious negative lifestyle right this is a practice that a lot of us may not have at the top of our minds saying i love you to myself is probably something that you've never done before or never thought of there's this concept called mirror work. One of my business coaches, Christy Miller, challenged us to a 30 days of mirror work. And it feels really weird, but it's so super effective. Mirror work is literally going up to the mirror every single night and you look straight into the mirror and you say, I love you. It is very transformative. Sometimes it feels weird. Sometimes you want to cry. But at the end of that 30 days, you will be a changed person. Practicing self-love is not selfish. And in fact, the positive outcome that you get practicing self-love is going to benefit everyone in the family, not just yourself, but everyone around you because you have chosen to eliminate negative thinking, let go of past hurts, let go of guilt and shame, and that's going to elevate you and everyone around you. Studies have shown that people who regularly practice self-love are happier, they're more productive, in their personal life and their work life are able to let go of past hurts. They're able to forgive themselves and it helps build your muscle of resilience. Resilience is something you need when you're going after a goal because life gets in the way. Nothing is perfect, right? I want you to write this down. So the first one is, is to start a journal of writing what you're grateful for. And one of my clients reminded me back when she was injured and she had a knee surgery, I wasn't really feeling like working out. And she texted me back and said, you have to work out for me. And I need you to be grateful for a body that can still move the way you want it to. And that really hit me hard because I was like, you know what? I am grateful to have a strong body and I am grateful for feeling healthy and getting strong and grateful for my life. And that actually helped get my ass in the gym and working out to be quite frank. Being grateful and practicing gratefulness can help you develop 
self-love. So develop a practice of writing one to three things that you're grateful for every morning and get in the habit of doing that. The next thing that you can practice is self-love rituals. Self-love rituals can be things like getting pampered, scheduling massages, you know, the bath after your workout, doing your nails. It can be that. But it also can be planning your exercise. It can also be meal planning. You want to love and respect your body enough to plan ahead to feed your body right, to exercise. Those things are practicing self-love. When you want to go and exercise to empower yourself, to make yourself feel better and feel healthier, that is out of love. Going to exercise because you want to burn off what you ate or punish yourself for a donut you had or punish yourself out for having ice cream with the family, that's not coming from a place of self-love. And that motivation from that kind of negative place will fizzle out and burn out and you are less likely to look forward to going to exercise. But if you look at scheduling your exercise from a place of self-love, that is what's going to get you to your goal. That is what's going to help you develop your dream body, that you love yourself enough to to do exercise that's going to empower your body and make you feel strong and confident and you can go up the stairs without being out of breath and you can take your family on vacations and participate in activities. Those are the things that you want to look forward to and you want to love yourself and love your body enough to go to the gym. Self-love rituals are things that need to be planned. They need to be planned and I want you to be mindful of them that you include them in your week. The other way to practice self-love, I want you to to avoid finish line syndrome, meaning I want you to stop waiting until you've crossed the finish line to truly start living and loving yourself. Stop waiting until you achieve the dream body, until you lose those 20 pounds, until you are able to wear a bikini at the beach, whatever your goal is. Don't wait until you get there to start living your life and truly Truly loving yourself. You have to love yourself now so that there isn't a finish line, so that you will always work on yourself and so that you will always practice self-love and that you will always show your children what it looks like to take care of yourself and become the happiest, healthiest, most energetic version of yourself and that you will use that energy to go after your deepest dreams, right? Because that's truly why usually we want to make a change on the outside is because we also want to make a change on the inside. And I totally believe that change begins from the inside out first. And I implore you to not wait to treat yourself with the love and the respect and truly start living before you reach the finish line. You have to act as if you are already there so that you can achieve achieve that goal. If you want to live healthier and happier, you cannot wait until you get to the goal. You need to do it now. That's what's going to help ensure that you stay on track no matter what. Give yourself some grace as much as you can because we are moms and we have to handle the whole world. And so when mistakes happen, you have to forgive yourself and move on because if you can't forgive yourself and move on, we're going to be stuck. Being stuck can lead us to making decisions that are not in line with our goal. You have to love yourself now. You have to feel confident now because imagine the goal body that you want to be in. Imagine the goal fitness that you want to be in and imagine how you'll feel when you get there. Take a moment to think about that you are that person right now. And if you are that person right now, what are those things that that person would do every single day? That person would take care of themselves. That person will make decisions based on their health and their happiness. And that can only come from a place of self-love. So the last thing I wanted to kind of encourage you is I want you to write down 10 things that you love about yourself. And you might even think like, oh my gosh, I can't do 10. There are 10 things. 
at first when I wrote this, I thought about just saying, write down five things, but I really do want to stretch you. And I really do want you to find those 10 things because there are 10 things. And if you're not sure, text your best friend right now and or text your husband, text someone you've known for a long time. When I went through this exercise around this time last year, I texted three friends and I asked them, what is it that you like about me? And it was actually an amazing exercise. I was partly surprised and partly warm hearted when I got that the, the replies back. What was really awesome is that they replied immediately. So try that out. I want you to write 10 things you love about yourself. And if you can't get to that 10, phone a friend. Practicing self-love also helps us let go of negativity. I know you guys have may have heard this before, but like negativity breeds negativity. When you're in a negative headspace, you kind of notice other negative people and you notice other people that are trying to bring you down and you could easily get sucked into that negativity. There's that saying, right? Like misery loves company. But if we shift our mindset to mindfully want to act in a place of self-love, then we're going to shift our mindset to a more positive place. And you'll start to notice you won't allow negative people to drag you down. And you'll start to notice that you surround yourself with with more positive people, your environment starts to change. There's that quote, and I'm not even going to get it right, but it's like you are the sum of the five people that you are around. It's totally true. Once you start loving yourself, changing your lifestyle, you start to attract and seek out others who are in the same lifestyle, same positive thinking. You start to attract and be around go-getters. I've experienced this myself when I started coaching at Lifetime Fitness and I kind of found my life girls, I call them, and they were women who were go-getters that wanted to up-level their lives and up-level their careers. And just from me practicing self-love, being a positive person, you attract the same people that you want to be around. So practicing self-love is not just about getting to your goals, but it also helps improve your surroundings. Self-love Love doesn't have room for negativity. And once you start to shift your mindset of going after goals at a place from self-love, you will attract others who are in the same place and you will not have room for negativity or negative people. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. I really enjoy giving trainings like this. If you are ever interested in working with me or might want to know more about my coaching programs, send me a DM message and we'll see if one of my programs might be a good fit for you and you can learn more if there's more that you want to know about. And if you watch this to the end, I know that making changes to your fitness and nutrition is really important to you. And as an active mom of three, I also understand how hard it is to do it on your own without support. And that's why I would love for you to join our free community at fitandconfidentmoms.com. There's a whole group of women and busy moms just like you waiting to support you and root for you. So if you join, make sure you say hi and share with us your journey. I'm rooting for you always. Bye-bye.